welcome to bgd with cucumber training session 1 so in case you already joined uh, my uh, other session and you already gone through the relevant video for selenium web driver or uh, uh, java right or uh, the test ng maven the framework you already get to know the difference between the normal standalone project right maven project and the framework whatever you are creating right so if i if i want to give you the introduction of the framework so there are a lot of testing framework is there starting from the modular driven then data driven then keyword driven then hybrid framework which is a combination of data driven and keyword driven and then tdd or test data driven and then the bdd behavior data driven so it does not matter which tool you are using but testing framework will remain always constant across the tools okay so in today's session i will try to uh, give you uh, more details on the bdd specific to the bdd framework so these are the different topics you will be covered what is tdd and bdd all about what is the introduction of the cucumber what are the advantage of cucumber over other tools what is the prerequisite required for using cucumber with selenium how we can develop simple cucumber framework from the scratch where we can add features file we can add we can create a step definition file where we can implement all the undefined step and then we can add the code inside the step definition class we can create multiple scenarios we can implement undefined steps we can add background how we can add multiple features file and multiple scenario what is the objective of scenario outline and how we can add example whenever we want to deal with the multiple scenario in case you are stuck with anywhere right maybe you are not able to see my screen or not able to clearly uh, uh, get my voice just let me know immediately so that i to i will try to fix those issues so i already mentioned there are few framework starting from the modular driven data driven keyword driven hybrid tdd and bdd so i think most of the framework is already covered in my previous tutorial of the previous training session so what is the objective of the framework right first you need to understand so if you write so many standalone if you create a normal project or maven project and if you want to start coding right you might get difficulties whenever you need to deal with multiple pages right multiple test cases test cases count can be 100 to 1000 and it might be difficult to you for you right to write the code for this thing so until you are following some pr process of streamline right it might be very very difficult so that is the reason whenever you are working with any tools any programming language it does not matter you need to rely with some framework so that with the framework approach right with the standard or protocol you are following right it should be some sort of the uh, uh, better approach where not only that uh, this uh, automation scripting effort will be reduced apart from that in case suppose say today you are doing the scripting for 100 test case tomorrow you need to update it to 200 500 like that right and today you are dealing with 10 pages tomorrow out of 10 pages two 10 page pages can be removed right new, a, few, a few new pages can be in, uh, introduced right but it will help you to update it very easily and suppose say today you already worked for that particular project and tomorrow right new person can come or maybe two one years later you want to work it until you are following some process or standard or protocol right it might be very very tough for you uh, to update to enhance your code to uh, uh, kind of to maintain your code so that is the reason framework came into the picture so it does not matter which tool you are using so you always you need to use some proper framework right so tdd is nothing but the test driven development which is an iterative development process iteration you know right so whenever you are working on a particular screen right there will be multiple iteration right so it, it can be screen level also uh, whenever it's, it, there can be project with a uh, different methodology right it can be agile methodology it can be waterfall methodology right when you waterfall methodology we do not follow the screen uh, concept but in the nowadays in the agile methodology we used to follow the screen concept or iteration concept right so instead of developing the full product in a uh, single uh, sort right we want to develop small small component in every sprint or every iteration so that is concept of iteration so each iteration start with a set of tests written for a new piece of functionality so what is test test is nothing but your test cases test cases can be different type of test cases from the testing standpoint it can be uh, starting with the configuration then it can be system test cases then it can be system integration test cases it can be regression right it can be uat right these are the different kind of tests you want to develop with the help of the automation tool so it does not matter which kind of test you are developing 
So this tests are supposed to fail during the start of the iteration as there will be no application code corresponding to the test. In next phase of the iteration, application code is written in an intention to pass all the tests written earlier in the iteration. So when the application code is ready, test will be run. So immediately you can devise, you can just try to build your framework from the scratch, right? So what will what it will happen? So initially maybe application is not there, but you know the user story, right? From where you can gather gather the requirement, right? So requirement means, so once you know the requirement, right? You can try to frame your uh, mm, uh, try to build your framework, right? So, so that as and when your application will be ready, you can get the expert, you can create the flow, right? So that will help you. So initially, whatever skip maybe you can you are you are creating, right? That can be failed. So suppose in every sprint you know that they, nowadays in the agile methodology, development and uh, your testing will be in parallel, right? So requirement or the BA team will develop the requirement immediately. The requirement will come to the testing or the development team. So development team after analyzing the requirement, they will start developing the code and testing team without application even, they will try to develop their test cases, you can functional test cases or maybe the automation test cases. So that is the reason initially that objective will fail, but once your application is up and running, right, you can tweak the code, you can upgrade your code, right, you can maintain your code after that it will be successful. So TDD framework helps us in many ways. So user write the application code based on the test. This gives a test first environment for development and the generated application code turns out to be bug free. With each iteration, user write test and as a result, with each iteration, user get an automated regression pack. So what happened? So you know in, in every sprint, right, we will be uh, uh, developing our test cases or maybe automation or functional. But what we need to do? In the next sprint as well, we'll be we'll be designing new functional of the automation to test right test suit right. But we need to certify the current sprint that whatever previous thing was already developed, they are not breaking. So that is the reason we can take a subset of the automation of the functional suit in the current sprint as well. We can run them. But so in case you already developing your automation script, so definitely you no need to update anything, and you can try to run in the current sprint. So that is the another benefit of the TDD framework. Okay, this test serves as documentation of application behavior and reference for the future iteration. So this is all the concept about the TDD or the test data driven. Now what is BGD or the behavior driven development? So please remember, sometimes people get confused, right? What is BGD, what is Cucumber, what is JBF, all this stuff. So Cucumber is a tool, not a framework, whereas BGD is a framework, which is the behavior driven development, right? So behavior driven testing is an extension of TDD, like in TDD, in BDD also user write test first and the add application code. So BDD gives user an opportunity to create test key from both the developers and the customer perspective as well. So in beginning, developer, project manager, QA, user acceptance tester and the product owner all get together and brainstorm about which test scenario should be passed in order to call the software or application successful. This way, they come up with a set of test scenario. All these test scripts are in simple English language, so it serves the purpose of documentation also. So before BDD came into the market, right, there was not a single framework where all the team members can contribute even in the automation test script development. So in the other framework, error driven, keyword driven, hybrid, TDD, only tester can, uh, uh, based on the requirement, based on the test cases, they can create their script. But in the BDD, as your features file will be plain and simple English language, right? The, uh, apart from the QA, the other non-QM team members, it can be the product owner, it can be the scrum master, right? It can be the developer, it can be the other business analyst, right? Other technical manager, your leadership, they can also do the brainstorming and they can provide input. So everyone input will be acknowledged and that will be converted as part of your scenario generation in the features file. So that is the extra benefit is having in the BDD or the behavior development. The major difference between TDD and BDD are 
Tests are written in plain, descriptive sing English type grammar in the BDD. But if the TDD right, definitely it will be in the in the form of programming language, right? Tests are explained as behavior of the application and are more focused in BDD. BDD using examples to clarify requirement. The difference bring in the need to have a language that we can define in an understandable format. So that is the basic importance of the BDD. That is the reason nowadays, right? The you know the most of the project, most of the customer, most of the organization are using the BDD, where not only QA can contribute, right? Apart from that, the non person who are the, the, this did not involve in the day-to-day -day QA activity, like the developer, the project manager, the technical project manager, business analyst, right? The product owner, scrum master, everyone can contribute, and based on the contribution, approach will be finalized, and then you can start creating your framework with the help of that BDD. Now, what are the features of BDD? So, this is the structure you need to remember. First, we will be describing the behavior. Behavior, right? Behavior has been nothing but the features file, which is in plain English language, English text language. Then, so once we define the features file, right? So, we will be writing the step definition, where we will be creating the methods or the uh, method, right? And in the method itself, we will be writing the body or the steps, whatever right that features need to perform then we will run and fail because immediately your application will not be available or maybe that uh, code is not completely developed so it will fail it right then we will modify or write the new code and make it the step pass and then we will re execute it uh, finally it will be passed until there is a defect associated so in case the defect is there definitely at the end of the day whatever testing you are performing it does not matter whether it's a manual testing, whether it's automation testing, whether the performance testing, but at the end of the day, your objective is that to find out the fallacy of the system in terms of defect or issues or in terms of slowness or in terms of security violation, right? So these are the different objective of the tester, right? So here features is, it, it, uh, with the help of BDD, it's shifting from thinking in test to thinking in behavior. So here everything will be termed as behavior, not the test cases, right? Collaboration between business stakeholder, business analyst, QA team and developer, right? It will be driven by business value. So business will be playing an important on the pivotal role. It extends test driven development by utilizing a natural language that non-technical stakeholder can understand, right? So here we'll be using our technical programming language, right? It can be any kind of language, Java, Java, Ruby. We'll be using the different tools, right? Cucumber or uh, the Selenium or JUnit. But still, other person can easily understand based on the features file. They can understand what is the objective of the top of your test, why you are running your test, what are the fruitful thing you can validate with the help of this test. So that is the importance of the BDD or the features. So BDD is popular and can be utilized for unit level test cases and for UI level test cases as well. So nowadays, even developer can use the BDD framework for their unit testing and tester can use it for the other kind of testing. It can be sanity test, it can be regression test, it can be functional test, right? Like that. The scenario are written based on the expected behavior of the software and is tested to check if it matches said scenario. This scenario are documented using a, using a domain specific language such as Jarkin. So Cucumber or this nothing but a Jarkin based language or it is nothing but a Jarkin based language. Okay. In each test scenario, a natural language construct constituting small English like phrase are used to describe the behavior and expected outcome of an application. This is done using a dedicated software tool like Cucumber that allows the execution of automated acceptance test written in Jarkins, which is nothing but the plain and simple English text language. What is the introduction of the Cucumber? So as of now, we already know the BDD framework, TDD framework, but the Cucumber is a tool which can be easily used in the BDD framework. So remember, BDD is a framework, Cucumber is an associated tool which supports the BDD framework. So a Cucumber is a tool based on behavior-driven development framework, which is used to write acceptance test for the web application. It allows automation of functional validation in easily readable and understandable format like plain English 
to business analyst, developer, tester, product owner, com master, etc. Cucumber feature file can serve as good document for all. There are, there are many other tools like JVA which also support BDD framework. Initially Cucumber was implemented in Ruby but nowadays it's also extended to .NET Java framework. So both the tools support native JUnit. So what is the objective of the JUnit here? So whenever you are using the Cucumber because it's a tool right we need to integrate with some other tools. In case you are using JUnit we can generate some more granular report. So that is the reason right we can create the runner class with the help of JUnit. So that is the advantage with the help of JUnit. So Cucumber reads the code written in plain English text or Jarkin language in the features file. It finds the exact match of each step in the step definition file will be create another f uh, class called step definition class where we will be writing all the undefined step. The piece of code to be executed can be different software framework like Selenium, Ruby, on Rail, etc. Not every BDD framework tool support every tool. Okay, you need to remember that in case you want to uh, do so right now jbehave and the cucumber these are the tool support uh, bgd framework maybe we, it can be integrated like in the ruby selenium or the rails right so this has become the reason for cucumber popularity over other framework like jbehave jdev ezb etc cucumber supports over a dozen of different platform like ruby on rail selenium pico container spring framework and oat so spring framework also used by the developers for the unit testing What are the advantage of Cucumber over the other tools? Cucumber supports different language like Java, .NET and Ruby. It acts as a bridge between the business and the technical language. We can accomplish this by creating a test case in plain and English test. It allows the test script to be written without knowledge of any code. It allows the involvement of the non-programmer as well. That is the reason, right, business analysis, the BA, uh, right or the product owner or the scrum master or the non-technical manager who does not have the expertise in the coding they can still contribute in terms of how you need to flow your execution right what are the assertion what are the validation you need to perform on a particular scenario so that's kind that kind of thing right can we can get it from the non-technical person who are not familiar with the code or with the tools but they still they can contribute that is the very very major advantage of the cucumber in the BDD. It serves the purpose of end-to-end -end test framework like other tools. Due to simple test scripts, uh, script architecture, Cucumber provides code reusability. Then what are the prerequisite required, right, okay, uh, to start with your framework. So you no need to worry that will be covered in the upcoming session what are the really prerequisites required to start your scripting in the selenium web driver in case you already got the knowledge then i am not uh, uh, mentioning other stuff but first thing is that you would require any kind of the uh, first thing is a java need to be set up in your machine second thing it it, it might require uh, some sort of id right it can be eclipse id right or it can be other id called intellij right then once the, this is the two setup is done right you need to download cucumber right eclipse plugin so first thing is that you need to open your eclipse right so that's why i already created so many projects that is the reason all the project is visible here after that you need to click on the help and you need to click on install new software so your um, cucumber plugin you need to add it right so how you can add it after you go to that uh, help and install new software you need to copy that particular url right so let's copy it so it's already installed here in my system but in case it is not installed first you install the cucumber plugin so this is the url simply copy it only your eclipse and then just paste it here okay automatically you can see that cucumber plugin is there right so you can click here right and you can select all and you can go to next next and you can finish it as and when you are finishing it right so you might require to install sorry to uh, restart your eclipse so that is the thing you can do it first thing okay so this is done so all the step I already provided here. 
right you need to uh, check the checkbox you need to click next next and you need to finish it or you need to install anyway after that you might restart need to restart your eclipse so that cucumber will be visible after that we need to create a maven project so why it is required to create a maven project you can create a java project in the eclipse but what is the difference between the java project and the maven project right so in the java project in case you are creating a java project so you need to add all your jar file manually right and today suppose say you are dealing with the version 3.0 and tomorrow after six month time the new version came into the market called 4.0 so what do you need to do so you need to manually remove 3.0 and you need to in add 4.0 after installing it but in case you are using the maven project right so you need to add all the dependency in the pom.xml file tomorrow it's 3.0 is there and today and tomorrow it's 4.0 so you can just change it so automatically all the previous versions jar file will be removed from the project and the new thing will be automatically associated to the project so that is the beauty of the map and project right so instead of the java project in the real time framework we will go for the map and project so how you need to create a map and project here you need to go to the eclipse first you need to click on file you need to click on new and you need to click a project instead of java project it will be create the java project but we'll be creating a project and here we'll be selecting maven right you can see if you do not uh, see it here you can type maven from here so automatically maven project will be there you need to select the maven project you need to click on next you need to click on next again you need to select the arc type artifact id called maven arc type quick start and the version should be 1.1 that is the thing you can select it and you can click from the next after that you need to enter group id and artifact id so what is the group id and what is the artifact id so group id is the nothing but your organization or your customer specification right so in case you are working for a particular organization so your organization will be holding a specific group id based on the group id you can easily understand this is from my organization right and the artifact ID is nothing but your project id right so whatever project it will be creating so it will be artifact id so it's a group id i have given is my uh, uh, youtube name right so that is the specification for my unique identity in case i am just uh, uh, uploading all the project in the github repository or uh, right other um, uh, repository right so that i can easily understand that is developed by me based on the group id right artifact id we can uh, create uh, any give anything right so say uh, cucumber framework training april 22 okay you can see up automatically package is creating right so package how the package will be creating in the maven project so it is nothing but the but the group id dot the artifact id right automatically it is created okay and uh, you can click on the finish so it might take couple of seconds to one minute time to reflect the pay, uh, uh, the project in your um, mm, list of the project list right so here you could see automatically that is got created you need to refresh your project so if you expand it now cucumber training framework training april you could see here there are multiple things has been created automatically so this is the src main java folder this is your src test java folder this is the dependencies and this is the pom.xml file right so what are the dependency added here automatically because you have created a maven project right so automatically maven dependency got added where jmd is already residing and all the java related dependency also got added apart from that no other jar file or no other dependency added to your project right so what you need to do you need to expand it and you need to remove the default package or default class for both the from both your uh, uh, src main java folder src test java folder so i'll be also whatever default package or default class will be created i can remove them because i will be not be using them so that is the maven feature so automatically they will create some default packages and default class you no need to use them after that you need to open the form.xml file right what is the form is nothing but the page object model okay so you need to double click here and we will be not be associating any uh, kind of jar file here we will be going to the pom.xml file 
and we will be adding the dependencies right in the uh, under the dependency section so whatever dependency is there for the j unit there is no required we can remove that dependency after that we need to add few dependency in the dependency section so after that we need to save my project what are the dependency we need to add we need to add the cucumber java dependency cucumber code dependency cucumber jvl dependency cucumber pico container cucumber sharkin so you can whenever you will be searching them in the maven repository.com this is the site official site of the maven right if you do not know the site name simply you just uh, go to the uh, google right and you just simply search here maven dependency so automatically this url will be automatically displayed right so you need to open that one okay so you no need to go anything you just google it and just add maven dependency so automatically maven repository.com will open where you need to go for all the dependency cucumber hyphen java so i will type here cucumber right code cucumber java okay cucumber java let's pass with cucumber java click on the search so you can see there will be two things will be displayed one is the io dot cucumber one is the info dot cube so no info dot cubes after 2009 onward nobody is using so do not use it use io dot cucumber right so for the cucumber jvm java we need to use it okay so i need to install first the cucumber java so i can go for any stable version so go for the stable version suppose say I will use that uh, 7.2.3 latest version, right? So for the other one, in case of solid elephant, you need to use the same version, otherwise it will, might be confusing. So Cucumber Java, I will be copying it from the Maven because this is the Maven. In case you are using other Gradle project, so you need to go for the Gradle, right? In case you are using Kotlin, so you need to go here. So that's why you need to copy it and just you need to paste in the pom.xml file under the dependencies tag, right? So dependency is the tag under which multiple dependency will be adding it. So this is the one dependency. Then I will go for cucumber core here. Okay. So let's go to the cucumber core. Cucumber core. And I can search for that. So I'll be taking the same version also for the cucumber core from the io.cucumber. Do not use the dependency from the info.cukes so it will be 7.2.3 version again so that cucumber core this is the second dependency third dependency i need to go for cucumber j unit so here i can type cucumber j unit you can click search that one yeah cucumber jvm j unit no it's info for q one second let me check yeah that one cucumber jvm j unit from io dot cucumber also it will take the 7.2.3 version so it will be cucumber j unit I'll be adding it. Then I will go for the cucumber or uh, pico container. Pico container. So this other thing will be really required. So I can go with the io dot cucumber. Please remember not the io info dot cukes. So that sign you no need to use, right? okay so so let's uh, click click it here so i will be go for that jpm pico container same version 7.2.3 and then in the last i need to add one more dependency for 
or uh, that jharkins right cucumber jharkins so let's click here cucumber io dot cucumber so i can go for 7.2.3 version so it will be cucumber jharkins So this is the five dependency we need it for now and later we need to add few more dependency whenever we'll be dealing with the extended report or other report but for now it's enough okay so in case you want to deal with multiple stuff you need to add few more dependency but uh, for the initial setup these are the five dependency you need it right otherwise it might create problem and once you add the dependency you press ctrl s you need to save it so you can see in the higher it is working so it might take uh, 30 minutes seconds to two minutes time to update all your dependency then how you can get to know right all the dependencies added so you can refresh your project after all the dependencies saved in the pom.xml file and you can refresh your project so automatically you could see that right all the dependencies will be added here right so it is still getting added here you can see okay as part of a maven dependency right all the jar file already associated you could see here cucumber java cucumber core cucumber jarkins right all the jarkin expression cucumber plugin html formatter cucumber jvnit right harm case pico container already getting added here so that's why right in new you need to just update the dependency suppose say tomorrow the version got changed to 4 or maybe 8 right so Sir, it, yeah uh, just one question actually uh, i was trying to set up things uh, as we go so uh, can you help with the arc type that you selected and uh, just paste it on the chat box so that uh, and also like this, just the uh, dependencies yeah yeah right i'll be sharing the code no need to worry whatever ppt and the code i'll be creating i'll be sharing the code and once the project is created also i'll be uh, downloading in uh, sorry uploading in my uh, uh, GitHub and I'll be sharing that uh, link right so that you can download it otherwise on daily basis you no need to worry so that particular code will be shared in the mail okay so you can go through the all the thing called not be a problem so you could see here all the dependencies getting added here right and all the PPT also so that will help you that will help you to uh, uh, to recapture your thing right and to do the setup you by your own without taking any other help right yeah. so this is the important so thing I also try to do. sorry yeah it's for 1.1 so let's go one more time if you go to the project here so just maven project just click next okay you do not select that one okay for now you can click next default location and this archetype is the maven archetype quick start 1.1 okay. Okay. maven archetype quick start 1.1 that is the archetype selected yeah. so yeah based on the archetype we are selecting right you can see here that automatically group id artifact id is also showing it right and the package is jar format the version is 0 .0 0.0.1 snapshot so here sometimes some questions can come why the version is snapshot is getting added to the version right because what does snapshot mean snapshot mean is not a fixed version it still work in progress or wib version so in case the version is fixed 0 .0 0.0.2 like that so in case you are adding something called 0 0.0.3 so in case multiple developer multiple tester are working right so they will not get the real time changes so in case they want to get the real time changes they need to upgrade it to different version for the dependencies but in case they are using the snapshot in case other developer is pushing their code so automatically updated code automatically will reflect in the other developer as well in case they are working in sync so that is the difference between a fixed version and a snapshot version in the maven so this is the another thing also you need to remember here right so this is the thing is that this is the project also the name of the project this is artifact is nothing but the project group ID is nothing but your organization specifier so we have added all the dependency and based on the dependency added in the dependency section so automatically it got got populated in the maven dependency right so that are the part here i have tried to cover as of now next what how we will do the setup for the cucumber framework so cucumber framework primarily consists of the three part one is the features file one is the step definition class 
and third one is the runner class. Okay, third one is the runner class. Anybody join? Okay, so before that, definitely you need to get the requirement, right? So requirement can be in form of the user story. It can be form of some of the SRD, SRS, right? Software requirement specification or BRD, business requirement document, anything, right? So based on the requirement, after the benchmarking happened with the, all the respective stakeholder, you'll be creating the features. So for that, you need to create the uh, features file first. Then once the feature file is created, then you need to run those features and you need to see what are the steps is coming as an undefined step so that you can add those undefined step and you can define them in the step definition class. After that you need to create a runner class where you want to run all the features and all the based on the step definition class steps. So that's why your Cucumber framework will work. So what is features file? So feature a standalone unit or a single functionality such as login project while a project can be called as a feature. Each of these features will have scenarios that must be tested using Selenium integrated with Cucumber. A file that stores data about feature, their description and the scenario to be tested is called a features file. Cucumber tests are written in this features file and are stored with the extent cell called dot features. So whenever you'll be creating a features file, you must remember that will be file format and the extension should be exactly same dot feature. A feature file can be given as a description to make the document more reliable, right? So what is the example of the feature? Suppose say if you want to validate a particular page, you can maintain that the to test the functionality of this page, right? So here I have given example. The login function of a website, the features file name can be user login dot feature. Description can be like that. The user shall be able to log in upon entering the correct username and password in the correct field. The user should be directed to the home page if the username and the password entered are correct. So that's why you can enter the description. And in, in, in Cucumber, there are so many uh, keywords available called given, when, and then. You will remember these three things, given, when, and then. So these are nothing but the annotations available in the Cucumber. So what is given? Given means the precondition. So before executing it, you should go some precondition just like before writing our code, right? We are creating our Maven project. We are associating all the dependency in the pom.xml file. After that, we will be creating the framework structure. Then we will be creating other things. So that is may, might be a precondition for my Maven project, right? Uh, for the for creating the framework. Then uh, when is nothing but your steps or to reproduce, right? In case you are familiar with the testing terminology, whenever you are uh, doing the designing or test script or defect, right? You are writing the step to reproduce. So these are the steps you can perform like that one. And then when, sorry, th 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 so this is the given in the precondition. When is the your test script or your test cases or your uh, objective of your test cases? This is the step or navigation. And then is nothing but your post condition or the test result. What is the objective? So that can be it part of your then. So here you can see given when user navigate to the login page by opening a Firefox, when user enter correct username and password values, then user is directed to the home page. So given is the precondition, you are already through the phase login page after opening any browser and then when you are entering the correct user ID and password field in the corresponding field and then you are navigating to the home page. So your scenario can be sir, pos positive or negative, yes? Sir, please repeat the point for uh, feature file and uh, step definition. Yeah, yeah, features, yeah, feature file, it will be covered, no need to worry. So this is the uh, descriptive part. So feature file is nothing where you'll be defining the features which came as part of the brainstorming from the different stakeholder. So features file will be defining called given, when and then. Uh, given when then in the simple uh, format language okay in the plain and simple language and you will be creating a feature file with the help of the dot features and after the feature file we are running it so we can get all the required steps you can mute yourself uh, otherwise it's getting uh, disturbance okay so after that whenever you will be running 
will be running the features file right you can get all the steps automatically by the cucumber so you need to create a the class definition file where you will be defining all the undefined steps so that is the difference between the features file and the class definition file so features file is nothing but in plain and simple language we'll be creating multiple feature multiple scenario with the help of given when then condition and then after that we'll try to run them with the help of cucumber plugin and then we'll see that these are the different step we need to undefined this undefined step we need to define it so those step will be defining it in as part of our test definition class or the definition file so that is the difference then with the help of test runner class we will try to run we will try to integrate both the features file and the step definition file and we will run based on the both the things so that is the difference between three things okay so step def yeah in the step definition i already mentioned right so now that the features are written in the features file the code for the related scenario has to be run to know which batch of the code needs to be run for a given scenario so step definition come into the picture a step definition file stores the mapping data between each step of a scenario defined in the features file and the code to be executed step definition can use both java and selenium command for java function written to map a features to the code so you no need to worry about this thing runner class is nothing so you need to integrate both the thing right features file and your step definition class so, and you need to re uh, i mean generate some sort of good relevant report right in uh, other thing you need to do it right so that is the thing it can be help with the help of runner class which is already where you will be using the jvent features so to run the test user need uh, need a test runner file which is a jvent test runner class containing the step definition location and other primary metadata required to run with okay this is the at the rate run with annotation from the jvnet will be required and also at the rate cucumber options annotation we need to do we need to add in the runner class so let's uh, forget about this part okay let's try to generate the framework from the scratch okay so how we can generate the framework from the scratch so here first thing we have created the maven project after that src main java src test java folder got created then after opening the pom.xml file we have added the different uh, uh, the dependency especially for the cucumber java cucumber jvnet cucumber pico container cucumber jarkin and cucumber core so these are the five dependency you need to add it so automatically you could see all the dependency in the maven dependency after that we need to create some uh, packages because in the packages we will be creating multiple features file or multiple class definition file and the runner class as well so actually in usually we do not do any more scripting in the main thing so main thing we might do is we used to uh, reserve it for the uh, developer or maybe the for the creating the testers but we used to the test java folder src test java folder so here you can create a package so we will be creating three packages here you can right click click on the new and click on the packages so this is this pa packages right so what are the packages i'll be creating so first package i'll be creating called features okay this is the packages i'll be created first then i'll be creating another packages package called steps right where we'll be adding the all the step definition class then i'll be creating another package called runners so these are the different syntaxes so whenever you will be creating any packages the they will start with lower case this is the java cons, uh, syntax runners so this is the first thing you need to do setup sir just a minute uh, so why here developers will come because we are creating the project no no this so is the maven the maven we, it is not only considered for the tester right so in case the developer is creating the project your structure will not getting change right so that they can use the this is the main folder instead of the test folder and who will create the project then so maven is the app, i mean uh, i mean uh, the company right so they already created that all this stuff so we are using their framework only Okay, just like the test engine, this is being by developer. Yes, yes, yes. So also we'll be using the main, but yeah, in the other framework we'll be using, but it is only for the test cases. But yeah, generally we should use as a testing standard 
or as a protocol or as a basic pattern you can say we primarily we will be using the SRC test java folder yeah so this is the three packages has been covered yeah okay uh, so uh, in case of any other question is there you can note it down and we will be discussing once the session is over no need to worry i will be covering everything from the scratch any doubt will be clarified okay so in the features we will be creating a feature file okay let's click on the new and let's click on the other right suppose say what feature we want to cover right suppose say i want to right go to the google page i want to search something called uh, cucumber java tutorial right that is the thing i want to enter so uh, after that i enter it right so that i will get the relevant result right so what is my features what is my objective here so i already navigated to the uh, google home page then i am entering cucumber java tutorial right when i am entering cucumber java tutorial then i will get all the relevant result so forget about the validation of this thing so this is my objective so that's why in pnl sample language right i can create the feature so suppose say i can create the fee five features file here i need to select file i am again uh, repeating so go to the features right click click new go to the other right and select the file here suppose say uh, features file will be google search dot extension will be always feature feature not r s so whatever name you can give it, it does not matter but extension should be always feature you need to click on finish so automatically it will give you suggestions so this is the functionality is coming from the cucumber it will give you suggestion what is the objective of the cucumber what are the different keyword what are the different annotations already available in the cucumber right so i'll be explaining it so that you it will be very very easy for you in case you want to give some comment right you can give it with the help of hash sign so this will be not be executed right in java also also you see that double slash we can use it for single line in case it's multiple line slash star and then star slash right so in cucumber simply if you use has so that line will be commented commented mean so that line can be there in your code but that will not play any role uh, whenever your code is getting executed right so you can give your author name like your name you can give any keyword what is the objective of your test cases right so all this stuff you can do okay so after that the feature so what is the feature what is the objective so feature suppose say i want to validate a particular page so that can be my feature under the feature there is scenario so scenario means suppose say in that page i want to validate that this are the field will be based the text field this of the field will be disabled there will be pictures available in the page right if i enter all this stuff i can navigate to a particular page if i click on that link i will be navigating to the page this are your scenario this can be your scenario and in the scenario itself you can give some step how to reproduce right with the pre condition and the post condition so is the given is nothing but your pre condition right you can see here some pre condition step when is nothing but the actions whatever you are doing to do it and then is nothing to your observe uh, outcome or the validation on your test result and 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 but you can also use right in case you want to give multiple given multiple when multiple then you can use and and but right so scenario outline is nothing suppose say in case you need to go for a page called maybe is a suppose say, uh, any website login right where you need to test with the multiple variety of the test scenario means user id and password combination so you'll be writing multiple step suppose say uh, given user already navigated to the facebook page when user entered username like that abc and password like abc then facebook login could be successful or unsuccessful so that is the same line of code you need to write repeat multiple times in case you want to go for 10 combination so you can need to copy it for 10 times but in the real time framework is giving the feature called scenario outline right where with the help of that right we'll be writing one scenario you can see here in case you need to go for right uh, thing where whatever is we will just providing the changing the data right we'll be changing the data here and we'll be using with the help of example so that automatically one test case will be running multiple times with the variation of the 
data combination. So this is the header and it will be separated by the pipe symbol and we need to also add example. So you can see the color, changes of the color, right? This is the normal black color, right? And this is the different color, either in blue or either in different color means this is the cucumber annotation of the keyword automatically. So that's why color is getting changed automatically, right? So this is the feature, this is the scenario and the given where and then condition. In case if you want to execute a multiple, a single test case multiple times with the variation of the data, right? You can use the scenario outline instead of scenario. That is the difference. And as and when you are using scenario outline, so I'll be disc I mean I will be discussing tomorrow session. No need to worry. But for today high level, I'm just giving you the understanding based on the uh, default features file is getting created. So in case you want to go for multiple iteration kind of data driven testing with the different data set, you need to hard code. You need to just give the uh, parameter with the, that sign, right? And here the parameter value you can give it. This is the header and next sort of parameter value you can give it. You can give 10 sets so it will be run for 10 times. So that is the difference between the scenario and the scenario outline. As and when you use using scenario outline, you need to use examples. Right? You can see this is the association. Then the background. So why background came into the came into the par, uh, picture, right? Sometimes just like the method, right? In case similar step, similar set of activity, you need to perform it, right? You no need to write in either in the uh, steps, right? Given when then you can create in the background. Suppose say I need to go to the Google page, right? So this will be my precondition. Then once I go to the Google page, that that I'll validate that search button is available or not, right? So I'll open the browser. I will open the uh, I will maximize the browser. I'll open the Google page and I will validate that search button is there and enabled. So this is the common step. After that, I will enter Cucumber Java tutorial or so only Java tutorial or only Selenium or whatever ABCD like that. And then if you press enter, right, you can get the relevant search criteria as the result based on the search criteria you are providing. So that is the different step. But my first four step is common in nature, right? So what I will do, I will just add them as part of my background. So whenever other test scenario will be running, so those background will be common. So I will be not be running, adding them multiple times. So that is the difference between the background, right? Uh, then the other thing will not be used much. So tags, yeah, tags we can use it. So tag is nothing. Suppose say in case you want to write uh, multiple scenarios for multiple pages, right? You can add tag called these are my positive scenario. So add the rate of positive. This scenario is specific for the MOOC test. This scenario is specific for my system test. This specific scenario for my uh, UAT test like that or maybe application wise. This specific uh, test case is for application 1, application 2, application 3 like that. So every time you no need to run all your test cases. Either you can run for the positive test case. Either you can run the test case on the application, the page in page wise. Either you can run your test cases based on the testing type. So that's where tag will help you there. So all the things will be covered in the sessions one by one. You no need to worry. So okay. So I'll be removing this part for now. Let's keep the feature here. Let's uh, remove that one. Okay. And I'll be keeping, I'll be removing the tag for now. I'll be trying to create a simple uh, uh, features file here. So what is my feature? So I want to validate the Google search page, right? So my features will be, I'll be keeping my feature as, so validate. or validate the search in Google home page. You can see this is simple plain and English jargon based language. So everyone can understand it does not matter whether they are having the programming skill or not. And here based on the brainstorming result right everyone can let them know, tester know also that these are the scenarios these are the which are need to be covered in English language this is my feature that scenario what is my scenario so suppose say search cucumber java tutorial in google homepage so this is my scenario 
So it is Pell and Hempel, and you can understand the objective also, right? What is the scenario? Then given condition you can write give given. So given is Google home page open in Chrome browser. Right? And search text box should be available in the Google home page. So that is your precondition. So where we are adding add because this is the precondition right so given and so this is also coming under the given only google home page open in chrome browser and search text box should be available and ed editable then only you can enter something right so first you need to verify the existence of the search box and you need to see whether you are able to add something then when means you are adding the steps right you are doing the steps so when user search a tutorial for tutorial with keyword cucumber java tutorial right and user hits enter button from keyword enter button from using keyword right okay then what happened so that part is not required so this is my two when condition then what happened then all courses related to cucumber java tutorial should be displayed so this is the plain and simple right so what is my features i want to validate the search in google home page with providing any kind of search condition criteria right because this is a feature it is a high level feature and scenario means the granular level one what is the specific function you want to operate right whenever you are performing scenario you need to give some precondition right or prerequisite and then you need to go for some actions and then it will get the desired result so given is nothing but the precondition so google home page in chrome browser is already open right and such text box should be available or maybe available is available is available and editable in the google home page this when so this is the given done then when user search a tutorial search a tutorial with keyword this is the keyword cucumber java tutorial and user hits enter button using keyword right using keyboard okay then all courses related to cucumber java tutorial should be displayed right so that is the objective here okay so that will be displayed yeah any question so far yeah this is as simple as how we write a test case right 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 so you can see yeah so that is the reason right it is a non technical person also can easily understand what is the objective what we are trying to do it without going through the code so this is the features file everyone can understand and correlate and definitely coding part will be not be there but they can still give their input here so uh, we can use multiple number of uh, given and, uh, yeah right 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 it is like as simple as test case what we write for any of the functional verification right right so as as many number of given and yes right you can give it right and you can create so many scenarios so i'll be showing you after one by one now what you need to do 
so as and when you are creating your features file you need to run it right then you need to right click here and you need to click on the run as and you need to go to the run configuration okay so you can see that fish cucumber was coming because you already uh, installed the cucumber or you can edit the cucumber in your uh, eclipse right so after that you can create a uh, uh, sorry, you can select a new uh, thing, any any of the features, whatever is coming, right? You can select it, and then you can change your project, right? So, what is the project? Our cucumber framework training. So, I can change it, right? That is the project. Okay, we need to change it. Then, features file also. Which features file you want to run? You need to change it. That is the path here. So, you already know where it is located. So, this is the two thing you need to change it. So, I'll be going back here. Okay. So this is my workspace, this is my project and this is my search folder, this is my test folder, this is my java folder, this is my features file and this is my feature, I right? will be selecting it. After that you need to click on apply, after selecting the project and the features path and then you need to click on run. So we are running it from the with the help of the cucumber plugin, right. So what will happen here? you can see you will able to see your uh, execution right but it will give you the all the undefined step whatever step you need to define it right you can see here so this is the scenario it is matching right the scenario and you can see from where the scenario is getting executed this is executed from the src test java features and the google search dot features file from the step number 21 so eclipse is giving you all the things then in case the other person want to validate it right they you can simply see that steps given google home page is open in the browser based on the steps we have given right when and then all the courses will be come then you can see here one scenario got executed on all the step is undefined right so that is the part it is giving you suggestion to you can see you can implement missing step with the snippet as below so these are the step you need to define so that is the beauty it is giving you suggestion so these are the thing you need to implement it so i'll be copying all the steps here whatever is coming after running it i'll copying everything and here in the steps i'll be creating a class java class new class right so home page that class definition i can give it and I can click on the finish. So you no need to worry in case you forgot something right you can go through my code you can go through my PPT apart from that I will be uploading the videos so that you can go through the video as well. So during uh, practice it right so just pick make sure that you are following it and you are practicing at least one or two times so that you can get the confidence. So here I need to define it I need to simply copy paste and then that part I'll be, I can remove it that part is not required okay it's suggestion coming but definitely we can tweak our code accordingly you can remove this thing from all the method right so this is the method as creating you can see public void this is the method name and how the method name is coming you can see some differences right you can see google everything is lowering underscore space it is taking underscore home underscore page underscore open underscore in underscore chrome underscore browser so that's why this method is creating this is the only method and what is the access modifier public and the return type is void so i have removed everything now you can see error message right you can see error message this is the error message in eclipse so these are the annotations is available in the features file but not in the class because java class will not understand them right then how I can make Java class understand these are the features coming from the cucumber. So I need to import the relevant packages from the cucumber, right? You can see the given from where it is coming. It is coming from the I/O dot cucumber dot Java dot en package. So if I Im implement it, right, automatically error message gone. Similarly, I need to import uh, the for the given also from the same cucumber cucumber packages. Similarly, for then also. then also okay now go to the features file so whatever step was undefined i have defined them now go to the features file now try to run it again 
so now i think automatically project will be set up here new configuration test here project is still set up we can run them and you can see no undefined step will be displayed now because all the step we have undefined there right sorry defined there you can see here okay scenario the given when and then condition and this is the one scenario one pass five step got passed this is the total time number of time taken 3 second 340 second millisecond right so that is the thing you can get it but now the thing is that suppose say in case you are having multiple feature right multiple steps then how you can run them in single shot so you can run it also there is some sort of report is also not writing properly right you cannot publish this same thing to the customer or to your stakeholder right so we need to create a runner class the runner package so where we will try to implement it associated runner so how need to do the runner part so as and when you are creating the runner class right so you need to use some of the syntax after the package is there right so i'll be using first run with at the rate run with so if you do not know press control enter so automatically it will give you suggestion okay you can see automatically it is coming run with and here you need to give this is the common in nature cucumber dot class okay then from where run with is coming because this is a java class you can see here run with is coming from the j unit right cucumber j unit Okay, org dot jmin dot runner from the run with. Okay, then once the run with is done, we need to add one more thing called cucumber option. Press control enter. Automatically it will give you all the suggestion. So it is coming from io dot cucumber dot jmin packages, and here you need to give. Okay, so that's why I need to do it, and here you need to add the thing. Right, we need to. Integrate it, right? My features file and my runners class. Sorry, my step definition class. So I need to use feature. Features from where feature is coming? Feature is coming from the SRC test Java folder and then the features package. So that is the reason within the package all the features file will be reside, so that all the features file whatever we are creating it will be taken into the consideration. So here I am giving the path the back equal to sign, then. Bracket S R C slash test slash Java slash feature. Okay, this is done. Then I can give the comma. Then I need to use the package name for the steps. So here I need to use blue. So that's why I can give the uh, path here. So here I can give. Uh, in the double quote steps this is the package name it is done then i can use some of the thing called uh, uh, so that it will give me more pic better picture okay publish equal to true so that is the thing uh, you no need to worry for now so if you give it more it will uh, report will be more and more accurate plugin equal to pretty so it will generate the pretty report e r e t t y this is the one time uh, definition only and then monochrome equal to 2 this is the cucumber related part you need to add it okay okay so this is the part you need to add one is the run with option cucumber dot class the cucumber options this is the two things you need to give it from your based on your thing you are creating right so features file is the features file path package package path not the class feature dot features file path the package path so it's src slash test slash java dot slash feature in case it is not matching it will uh, it will uh, 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 we do the error okay and then the glue is nothing but your uh, step definition class package okay and then and you can use the plugin pretty 
okay uh, uh, public equal to monochrome equal to now if you want to run it from here you can see run as and with the help of j will is coming so you are not running with the help of cucumber but you are coming with uh, running with the help of j will test so if you run it here you can save the runner class and you can run it you can see that it will giving you more report called j will there are so many report available called json report called html report called xml report and also the extend report so we'll be showing i'll be showing them all the thing in tomorrow's session no need to worry you can see now right yeah one out of one it's got run right and now if you go here this is the scenario this is the picture validate the search in the google home page right and then it is a scenario right search cucumber java tutorial in the google uh, in the google home page now if you go here also right you can see here the scenario got run from where it got run right from that one the pictures file 21 number and that this is the step from where it is run this is the run from the steps and this is your method name right this is your class name this is your package name and this is the method name so it is already associating with some method similarly for the other also so that is the beauty right in case you define the some step so that will be run based on the method so that's why we can integrate right in the j unit also yeah what is the use of uh, publish uh, plugin and monochrome yeah monochrome and publish is nothing there might be some error so that will fix those error in the in the later point of time there can be coming something right lot of things can come so if you use them so lot of thing will be reduced so it will be giving more accurate report after reducing all these things otherwise there is no other thing nothing okay and plugin yeah plugin is for the pretty format report right so suppose if i comment out you can see the differences here so it will be some sort of report will be not be good right it will be some some sort of comma separate it will be there you will not able to get it there holistically okay let's see let's run it so i have commented the plugin equal to pretty so it will not giving the good report that is the reason we should use the plugin equal to pretty so if you run it now let's see the differences here in the console So let's uh, go here. One second. Yeah, nothing is got generated. Okay. So in case you are not giving, sometimes also that is not get generated. So as soon as you are giving it, so it will be giving you the more accurate report. Thank you. Okay. So now next thing is that we will try to create one more scenario. and then we will see the implement the background in cucumber okay so let's try to create one more scenario here so let's go to the same pictures file and let's try to create one more scenario okay so search instead of cucumber java let's search so it cucumber selenium tutorial So wherever Java is there, I can just replace them. Cucumber, Selenium. So this is another scenario I want to execute, right? So what will happen? So this is another scenario. Search Cucumber Selenium tutorial in the Google page. Other step is common, right? So when the inheads so were entering, okay. Okay, let's try to run it again with the help of cucumber option. Let's implement all the steps. Run options. You can go to here again, and you can run it so that whatever steps undefined step will be there. So whatever common step, that step will not come because that is already defined. You already created the method. So that is the reason if you do not know that something is common, so no need to change it. right so that is the syntax you need to remember so you could see now right uh, this one scenario got executed other scenario also got executed here right and these are the two undefined step right out of two scenario one passed one undefined because these are the different step we need to define so only this is the two step 
okay so what we need to do we need to google again the same uh, class right this step definition class and i can implement those steps so you can see this is the only two step where we have changed the cucumber remaining is already implemented right because we are not changing anything so now you can press save and if you press try to run it from here and you can see both your scenario will be executed and the nothing no you can see two scenario stand step gauge executed or and passed right both the scenario executed from where it is coming you could see this is the different number of lines second scenario is coming from 28 number line and first scenario is executed from the 21 so you can see that is matching and other classes where it is associating you can see but the now question is that in case what are the common step is there right how we can implement those common step instead of writing them so many number of time right so that is the thing we can do it uh, with the help of background right so here uh, after the feature i'll be using a thing called background and press colon do not give any space you can see the color is getting changed so i can ca cut paste the same step whatever is common right so these are the steps two step was common before uh, navigating to the other one right So these are the two step. I can remove it. Okay. So that is the benefit of the background. So whatever steps will be common, right? Before nav navigating to something, I can mention them in the background. Okay. If you do not know the formatting part, press Control A. Okay. Right click here. I think there's an option called Pretty Format, right? Through which you can format your features file. Automatically, it will be formatted. right in case it is the look and feel does not good good right so you can select you can right click you can go to pretty format especially for the features file right otherwise in your class file you can select thing and you can go to source right you can format element format so automatically format it okay so now i have uh, right whatever step in common i have given in the feature so that is the reason right you no need to write the step or otherwise something that particular step you need to change you will be changing only one time instead of multiple scenario wherever step is common because in the real time right whenever you want to log in something right if you want to automate some of the web page right so uh, opening the page uh, mac browser uh, login pa id password everything will be common in nature so that is the thing we can stay write it as a part of our background instead of writing in the scenario so that definitely both the step will be executed and your scenario will be executed now if you want to run it with the help of runner class you can find that that will be executed multiple times but for multiple scenario but we are um, writing it only one time whatever is common with the help of background Okay, you can see here, scenario got run based on the same way, because this is scenario, this is the given condition, this is coming from the background only, right? And when and and then from the scenario, and again this is another scenario, this two step is coming from the background, right? And this is the when and 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 then. So that is the importance of background. So most of the times, user will find that several scenario in the same feature start with a common context. So Cucumber provides a mechanism for this by providing a background keyword where users can specify steps that should be run before each scenario in the feature. So background is much like a scenario containing a number of step, but it runs before each and every scenario where for a features in which it is defined, right? So this is the common way I have given the example. After the steps, user only able to add a pro. Okay, this is the common step. So this is the example I have given only. Okay, so that's why in case some of the steps are in common in nature, especially the pre-question, pre-condition part, we can add them instead of writing them multiple times and multiple times. And in case any modification is required, we can simply add, modify them in the background section. So, any questions so far? Uh, Rada, I have one uh, doubt. Yes. Yes. 
कॉमन इन ने So that is some limitation is there. No, 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 no. You need to write it in the uh, features file wise, because that one features file cannot recognize the other. Okay. So h- how many uh, scenario I can write uh, in one features file? I mean, uh, maybe maybe fifty, hundred. You can do whatever you want. What unless it is I, given I any limit. Ten, I think it is ten, Haradan. Uh, ten features files, uh, ten scenarios in one features file. Okay. Where? So definitely in a single features file because it will vary from the page page to page, right? So in a in a single page you will not having more than five to ten scenario. Okay, that is the reason for every page we should write our features features file so that it will help us right to easily debug our code. Otherwise, in a single features file, if you write everything, it will be happens that way, right? So that is the reason. In case you want to deal with ten pages, you can create ten features file, but everything will be keeping in the same packages so that based on the Uh, a def- definition of the packages in the runner class right this is the path we are defining so the all the features will be running successfully but definitely i can uh, make some of the things called disable enable based on the tags so that will be covered like so tag is it plays an important role and hooks also plays an important role so i'll be showing you how it is the importance of tags hooks all this stuff Yes, yes, yes. Right, 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 right. And generally, also uh, for every page, you can write the step definition class or maybe single class. Okay, you can it can be done. Okay, so that it will be. Otherwise, you can create a s- one single step definition class, right? But you can add the steps in that way. You can add a comment here, right? So that's a, that's why I used to work here. Suppose this is the thing, right? I can mention it. So that this is the specific part. i am writing it for the uh, for that particular features file so that i can control f right i can immediately go to that relevant uh, relevant method whatever i have written for that particular feature i can create a single runner single step definition class and i can paste all the codes but during the debugging part right how you will identify it so that's why you can add it so that is the one of the best approach we can do it got it In a single step definition class, we can add it, but we can add the just kind of comment section. We can add the features file name. So I just I can simply just control F with that one, and I can go to the relevant features, whatever is there for the features file. I can also go for the scenario level also. So that will help. Uh, Haradan, uh, how can we run the multiple feature files at once? Yeah, yeah, I'll be showing you. I'll be I'll be going to the step only. That is the reason I'll be creating one more features file. Yeah. Kind of so tip definition, yes, right, right, right. Just like the test ng part, right? So it is the kind of test ng part where we are giving the path of the features, packages. So where we can keep all our features file, and whenever we are keeping all the features file based on the features, it will be executed. All the features will be executed. So let's try to create one more features file. Suppose say I want to automate the Facebook page. So I'll be going to the other, and I can go to the file, and I can. Click on the here. I can give the name called Facebook homepage dot feature. Okay. So I can remove all the part here. Okay. So what is the thing I need to do? Suppose in case you go to the Facebook page. You need to open the Facebook page, right? You can enter the email ID, password. In case it is valid, it will be successful after clicking on the login button. Otherwise, it will be invalid. So that are the different steps I need to add it. Okay. So let's try to add the steps here. 
so say I'll be creating a feature first feature called Facebook home page validation okay that is the feature scenario I can define right uh, to check the login functionality of the Facebook home page right then here I can give given given sorry not here given user navigates to the Facebook login page login home page right when user enters I can give in the bucket called uh, enter user name one two three as username and password one two three as password then the login status so this is not valid one so that login status will be unsuccessful then login should be unsuccessful for Facebook So this is the thing I have added it now let's save it and let's try to run the other features file and let's try to define all the undefined step so here you need to just change the features file name because this is the another features file I've created let's go here and let's change the features file browse go back to the other features file features and you could see other features file came called Facebook home page feature and I can apply and I can run it so I can get all the undefined step here so that will be it will give me three undefined step okay we could see here this is the scenario is running this is the given when then condition right all the undefined step you can you need to implement it right so you can implement it copy the code I can go to the home uh, step definition class I can just paste step and here I can give the comment right the features file name right click uh, rename In the comment section so that it will help us to debug the code the comment section And you can remove the code here. The code here. I can remove the code here. Now press save, and now let's try to run it with the help of runner class. So is it a standard practice to have like one uh, feature and one step? Yeah, yeah, it will not be a problem. It, it will based on vary. It will vary based on organization. So I use I can use to create a single single class, and that's why I can differentiate it. So that you will take it will save the time, right? Instead of going to the so many things with the help of the control app, I can charge it, right? Right. Okay. 
No, 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 no. Because I mean, most of the standard will be vary from your customer to customer, or the organization to organization. Mm -hmm. So definitely some okay. still, but not every standard will be followed into follow. You can see here now, right? Two scenario, uh, three scenario got executed, right? One scenario from the Facebook page, right? That got executed, mm -hmm. right? And other two scenario got executed, right? From the Google uh, home page. And you could see here, this is the run three of three. And if you expand it, right? And you could see Facebook home page validation, it will be only one scenario to check the login function of the Facebook home page. And to, if you expand it, you can see these are the two scenarios on the same picture. So that's why your multiple scenario, multiple features file can be executed. Now, let's try to add some steps. Okay. So say in the class. So a few steps I'll be adding, but definitely you can add so many steps there. Right. So suppose say here I'll be adding the steps called SOISO. Here I can within the double code I can use given right. So I can give some here user verify what is the objective you can keep it here you will verify the existence of this is the google page right uh, this is the button existence of search button search text box here i can see given and here right user launch browser chrome browser chrome browser and open google page so such similar way i can add the all the steps definition right. here it will be when user user search user enter enter cucumber so that will be more granular right user enter cucumber java tutorial in the search text box right after that user enter user when also user click user press enter keyword from keyboard right hand here it will be so that's why you can define the steps for all the class here it will be then right user able to able to see all the relevant courses for cucumber java tutorial similar way other features fell in the remaining also you can add it based on its importance sir mm -hmm. how can you implement the url sorry mm -hmm. Where we can implement the URL? Yeah, yeah, it will be there. Okay, no need to. I'll be showing you tomorrow's session where we can implement it. Right? You can add the steps here. Right? <coughs> so I'll be covering it in tomorrow's session how we can do it. No need to worry. Okay. Okay. Then alert message, alert and drop down. Yeah, that is similar way. Right? That is similar way of the Selenium part. Let's try to complete the Selenium in case you are not done. But otherwise, the similar way in the step itself, you can add those step, right? Whatever you want to operation you can wa want to do for the selenium. Okay. Suppose so whenever you are opening in the browser. Here we can add that one. Yes, yes. Suppose say if I want to add the steps, right? Um, 
one second i will take some reference from the previous project okay one second go to the previous project Suppose this is the step, right? Whenever you want to open the browser, you want to do it. So that automatically it will open. So that's why I can define the steps here for the Selenium part. Okay. So suppose say you need to you need to add one more dependence in the Pomlod XML file called Selenium, right? So you need to add one more dependency here because in case you don't need to implement it. Otherwise, all the annotation will not come, right? Selenium Java. Yeah, that dependence you need to add it in the form of the XML file. Keep the dependency here. The Selenium Java. Let's press AS Control S. So here in the step definition class, I want to add the steps maybe for the Google page. So that's why similar way you can add the steps here. So I want to implement the step for Facebook. Okay. So let's go uh, to the Facebook home page. Right. One second. Let's go paste it. One. So I'm um, only for the same thing. Let's try to do it so that you can define some driver, global web driver, right? Globally. So that can be accessible here across all your methods. So web driver driver globally. Okay, it looks like still it is saving. That is reason is not coming. You can see building workspace fourteen percent. Until that is that uh, relevant jar file is getting added, right? We cannot uh, do it. So it will might take some time. Maven build, right? No, no, no. Then uh, it's building automatically, right? Mm. So it is trying saving the workspace, right? Yeah, uh, because I'm trying to build it automatically. It's not building on my machine. So that will be covered in the Maven session, okay? No, that is already covered. So that will be covered in the Maven session. No need to worry. Okay, so it is still taking time for the selenium one. Let's see whether it's done or not. Okay, it is still showing the driver driver. Okay. Because Selenium lot of jar file is associated, right? So that is the reason it might take some time. Might be my network got slow, otherwise two MB should not take that much time.
okay let's run it for now without with commenting this thing so once this work is uploaded maybe i will show you tomorrow session okay let's go hang dori i will show you okay so <coughs> so in case why it is again okay already there in the framework so i can ignore it for now just comment it out so if you want to run it from here now <coughs> with the help of runner class you can see the differences because whatever step you have defined right <coughs> it will be also generating in the console and in case you are adding the steps for selenium right so you can uh, i mean automatically all the steps and navigation you will able to see it Okay, now you could see the differences here, right? So you can see here, this is the for the second one, right? For the first one, we have added some step, right? So for the, after the scenario, right? Before the given step, the steps objective is coming. So that's why as and when any step is getting executed so based on the details we are entering in the step right that will be also executed so we are able to see something in the console or maybe that will be execution will happen in the real time so similarly you can see wherever we have given the steps objective right as part of this thing it is also executed so that's why we can add the steps so definitely in the real time we'll be adding the steps for the um, cucumber so let's complete uh, today's session and apart from that I have already created a project I will show you how to go to that project. You can see that 3 tests is run, 3 things is executed and if you go to the uh, Facebook home page right you could able to see that one scenario got executed and the Google home page 2 scenario got executed. Now say in that Google home page right I want to create uh, multiple scenario okay. I will want to create multiple scenario right so three scenario I want to create so here I can give password called uh, 456 right it will be unsuccessful and here if I give uh, username 111 password 111 one, one, like that it will be successful okay let's try to run it okay and let's see what is the difference happening so definitely you are going through different uh, multiple scenario in the same features file but you are just the changing only few of the things right only the username and password combination and based on that the successful or unsuccessful happen <coughs> you can see three scenario nine step got passed here 
right there was no undefined steps here okay so now the questions will come right so in case we want to just change only that data these two data in the when and then so i will be writing the multiple scenario multiple times that can be error right error in case if you want to create for eight times ten time and if you want to change in the real time in the one liner code right what will happen then right so that's the reason scenario outline came into the picture so scenario includes all the possible circumstances circumstances of the feature and test script for these circumstances the keyword scenario represents a scenario in jargon language one features can have multiple scenario and each scenario consists of one or more steps so cucumber scenario outline in jargon based on jargon reference the scenario outline keyword can be used to repeat the same step with different values or argument being passed to the step definition this is helpful if user want to test multiple argument right um, in the same scenario so that is called scenario outline so uh, whenever you are creating the feature file you already see right scenario outline is coming right and and if you are using scenario outline you need to use the example right so in the example you need to use the pi symbol separated and in the first heading will be first row will be for the header and the second row onward it will be data so whatever data you want to give right it will be based on your execution will happen now let's try to so instead of three scenario right i will want to create one scenario and i want to pass the uh, <coughs> examples so here it will we need to use scenario outline okay and then here you need to enter examples example okay and here you can uh, use the pi separated here suppose say username i can use and i can give pi separated and then password right then i can pi separated and then here i can give status so first you can uh, change the thing you can create the table so in case you are having multiple thing right you can do it so it will be pi separated right so i can copy so i have three scenario so i can go for three lines so suppose say username one two three so second one is the password one two three and it is unsuccessful right so for the second scenario what is the combination so simply row a right i can just create the scenario outline so second scenario username one two three password will be password four five six right and it will be unsuccessful so for the third scenario what is the password it will be username triple one password triple one and it will be successful right so i can remove the other scenario right and here you need to do here instead of the username one you need to go to the header take the header value and you need to give that sign and with that one similarly for the password you need to take the header and you need to replace it with so this is the variation of the data and similarly for the status one i can take the column value and i can change it so that these are the three different variation to be running it now let's try to run with the help of runner class so it will be three scenario so there is no difference but instead of writing so many lines of code will be using it.
okay we need to use scenario outlines given when and then examples okay sorry we have given the wrong keyword right examples so as you should change it right so that our automatical color will change so that is the reason initialization did not happen it is throwing the error now if you go to the runner class so initialization uh, error kind of come means something has happened error in the your step definition sorry in the features file maybe some keyword is not correct so you can see so that's why it should get changed now if you run it right so it would able to run it here so definitely some mistake will happen and you need to debug your code and then only you can uh, get the details knowledge okay in case you are able to run it successfully it might not help but yeah so it might take some time so all the facebook thing is getting fail here because of the few of the some of the new step we need to uh, thing add it right so that is the reason it is failing so one second let's see why it is failing scenario outline is getting executed you need to implement these steps okay this is the step is not implemented right so we need to implement this step so how can we implement the steps get the details here so we can run as and you can go to the run configuration <coughs> and we can run our relevant file so i can get the undefined steps so that i can define them otherwise your test case will fail so this is the two step or three step is coming here go to the class because this is the different kind of varieties of the uh, username and password we are using right so that will not match sometimes let's save it and let's go to the runner class and right click here and click on the run as okay why one more error okay i did not implemented anything okay implemented okay so this is the steps uh, we might not be implemented correctly okay let's try to run it once more time so it no need to worry it will give you suggestions or uh, or uh, are the errors right you can go on through that thing and you can correct them it might take some time may might be it will not be immediately solved it might take you need to invest like 1 hour 2 hours even 4 hours time 8 hours time to go through all the things and to analyze the report right but yeah it can be solved class here yeah that is the part is already removed. we did not remove it right okay so 
we need to remove it and now if we run it here so it will give you a suggestion that particular thing right it's something error is there right so username one two three and password one two three so that is the reason i am going through that 11 method and automatically removing it so in a, in case you are forgetting something no need to worry it will give you suggestion so that you can correct your code so as and when you will be uh, doing getting so many error you can get to know how to fix them and that knowledge it will be uh, with you only for long times right so you no need to worry about this debugging part debugging skill so you need to write whatever you want to do now you can see that all the five tests have got run and everything is in green right five out of five okay you could see these are the different test cases got run from the facebook home page three steps three test cases the three scenario and for the google home page two scenario got executed right based on the step definition file so now it is working based on the scenario outline so we are just writing the scenario for one time and we are varying the data with the help of scenario outline example in the five separated way right so that's way you can implement the scenario outline Sir. yeah one second just five minutes give me five minutes we'll take your thing so that are the different topic i have tried to cover in today just five minutes i'll cover i uh, respond to so what is the bdd and tdd framework right so bdd is nothing but like uh, all the stakeholder can interact with the plain and simple language so we'll first create the features file then we'll add the feature in plain and simple english jargon language then we'll be uh, adding the steps right scenario features and given when and then right given is nothing but the precondition when is nothing but the steps and then is nothing but your uh, <coughs> i mean uh, actual result right so uh, first you need to create a clip project and then you need to uh, so if so you need to install the uh, uh, you need to install that uh, cucumber plugin xe plugin you need to install the java you need to install the uh, eclipse id then you can create a maven project you can create three uh, uh, packages in the src dot test uh, folder here right src test java features runouts and steps then you can create features file after that you can run the features file then you can will get all the undefined steps you can define the step in the step definition class and in the runner class you can create the runner class right so that from the runner class you can try to execute it with the help of features and the glue and the plugin options and uh, definitely in case some of the step is common right so you can uh, use it with the help of background right so that uh, some of the common step you can implement in the background and in case you want to uh, write uh, execute multiple scenario uh, using the varying the data right variation of the data so you can use the scenario outline okay so that's all from today's session remaining sessions uh, specific to the tags hooks right the different uh, reporting like json report html report uh, xml report or the cucumber report will be covered in uh, tomorrow's session or next session thank you